And as we began to make our way towards the end of the street, we saw an Orthodox Jewish couple and the mob grew angrier and started following us. And at one point I just got, you know, I got separated from my coworker and it was just myself and this couple. And the next thing I knew, I was punched in the back of the head, pushed into bushes and then punched repeatedly, kicked in the head and hit with a flagpole. Uh, thankfully, there was a police officer there that helped me get to safety. But the overall situation was very, very scary. Um, and this is something that, you know, we, uh, we have people who are pro-Israel are subjected to. clear that we appreciate those um, who have joined us today in solidarity with Israel and the Jewish people. It includes the Council General of Israel uh, for the Midwest, who I will announce, introduce in a moment. Council General, thank you for being here. Um, from Simon Wiesenthal Center, Rabbis May and Cooper, they will both be speaking here also. Um, Alderman, Alderman Deborah Silverstein from the city, Skokie Council, Michael Ward, Andrelia Puchinski. Truly privileged and honored to now introduce uh, Yanam Cohn, the Council General of Israel to the Midwest. And we will remain strong and we will prevail. Am Israel Chai. Am Israel Chai, please join me. Am Israel Chai. Am Israel Chai. Am Israel Chai. Am Israel Chai. Thank you. Thank you. One more thing before I finish. It is very important. I know that many of you ask yourselves and ask us how you can help. Here's, here's one, really one more thing that you could do as early as tomorrow. I think the most important thing today for Israel is, is to know that they're not alone. That you think of them, that you're thinking of them, that you're supporting them. What I'm asking you today, to do today is to think of two or three Israeli friends, camp friends, family friends that you haven't spoken with for many months, give them a call tomorrow. Tell them that you're thinking of them. Tell them that you support them. Tell them that they're not alone. It means a lot. Thank you. Sign the petition that says, get this guy from the AP fired. Sign the email to the New York Times saying that this conflict cannot be reported by a Nazi. Go and click the buttons that says subscribe. And there's a green button too. 
and any help can be appreciated. The development director of Honest Reporting is sitting in the front row. She's the only blonde in the room. <laughs> I want to thank the Simon Wiesenthal Center, the, to uh, Allison and to Rabbi Cooper for putting together this amazing and necessary event. And the message of Rabbi Cooper that he's going to say right now needs to resonate throughout the world. Thank you so much. We are not alone. And we must thank our fellow faith leaders, the churches who on the 8th, the day after, tens of millions of Christians prayed for their souls. We must thank them. We must recognize them. And I think beyond the religious obligations that Christians and Muslims and others feel, I think they absorbed one other lesson that Simon Wiesenthal left us. He always said, it always begins with the Jews. It never ends with the Jews. God bless you. The safety of our community is like a big hug when you really need it. Together, we will navigate these uncharted waters. Glimmers of hope, like the release of our neighbors, remind us never to give up hope. Hope for the safe return of all of our loved ones. Hope for peace. We have to keep hope alive for future generations. We are strong, we are supportive, and we are resilient. Like the Israeli national anthem reminds us, Hatikva, hope. Am Yisrael Chai. The Shema, the watchword of our faith, was handed down to the Jewish people in Torah and has been recited in prayer by the Jewish people for thousands of years. Shema Yisrael, hear, O Israel. These words hold the hope of a people passed down from one generation to the next. They unite us as a people and lend us strength in times of struggle. They kindle the spark of hope in a cold, dark night, and they will carry us through these times. Together. Am Yisrael Chai. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Words of comfort and solace in really hard times. On behalf of our church, Quentin Road Baptist Church in Lake Zurich, our television and radio ministry in Grace, you can find us on TBN every Wednesday night and also on YouTube. And on behalf of Dayspring Bible College and Seminary, where I serve as president, we stand with you. We stand with this one. I stand here together with my Jewish brothers and sisters, my Christian brothers and sisters, and my Muslim brothers and sisters, and my Baha'i brothers and sisters, people of all faiths and no faiths, anyone who thirsts and yearns for justice, I stand with you today against this evil that Hamas has wrought and against what Iran is doing. We must learn to live in peace. We have weapons that are far too powerful now. May Israel be successful in defending itself from this monstrous evil, and I thank you all for having me here to speak today. Before you send your contributions, make sure that they denounced and condemned the terrorist attacks in Israel. If they didn't, don't send those checks. Write to your state representatives and ensure that our public universities do not use, do not fund organizations that excuse terrorism and promote anti-Semitism. And if we must, we must write to the Department of Higher Education to demand enforcement of Title VI. I'm going to end. We will win. We will win on campus. We will win this war in Israel. Because we are strong and because Hashem is with us. I'm Yisrael. As good and righteous people, we cannot forget and we cannot give in. God bless you all, my Jewish brothers and sisters.
You will all remain in our prayers as we stand beside you, as we all seek justice and the respectful perpetuation of our histories and of our cultures. Thank you for the honor of speaking to you all here today. God bless you. Israel will resume its course of peace, but Hamas will not be part of that peace, and Hamas will not be on this earth. I hope my words are of some comfort, but words are not enough. I will be taking my senior leadership to Washington, D.C. the day after tomorrow. And along with former Congressman Ted Deutsch, we will be taking families of the hostages to Congress. Congress will learn that there are anti-Nazis, and we stand with you saying, not this time. We pray for all the victims, all the families. We maintain hope that those taken hostage will return home to their families safely. Every one of them. We pray for the leadership of our governments around the world who carry the unimaginable weight of establishing sustained peace in that region and around the globe. I say this proudly, two things. Number one, you are not alone. Number two, um, yeah, Israel, hi, God bless you all. Whoever thought of putting a rabbi after a black Pentecostal minister <laughs> is looking for a job. <laughs> Even a volunteer. I have the solemn responsibility tonight to offer psalms for the victims of October 7th, for the soldiers and families that have been so devastated by what took place, for the hundreds of hostages, children, mothers and fathers. So please rise. Let me call Avon Well now, make someone happy. Make someone smile. Let's work together and make life worthwhile. Let's work together. Come on, come on, let's work together. Now, now, people. For together we will stand every boy, girl, woman, and a man. I said together we will stand every boy, girl, woman, and a man. Well, now together we will stand every boy, girl, woman, and a man. As I'm sure most, if not all of you, uh, observed when you were on your way in here, there was a protest group that gathered uh, earlier this evening. Uh, they grew to a pretty good size. Uh, they just, we uh, were able to get them to disperse about an hour ago. Um, we're s <laughs> what we don't know is if they all went home or if some are still hanging around. So what I'd like to do is give you some options uh, where we can help you get home safely. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please click here for the full video and please click here for the playlist. Take care.